guys welcome back to my channel it's Jody here thank you so much for clicking on another video if you're new welcome to the fam bam if you're not new thank you so much for coming back so you must be wondering why I look like I'm about to you know go to a carnival event it's because I picked up some things at Yardy Cosmetics and these pearls were a you know a part of the, the items that I one of the items that I picked up all right, so I'm just. This is going to be a review slash first impressions of Yardi Cosmetics. Um, this is a company that I've seen quite often on Instagram. Um, it seems to be very popular with the with the Caribbean diaspora, you know, here in the states and elsewhere. Um, and I was very curious as to the, um, you know, the products, how they perform, and um, if I would like any of the products so I went ahead and I picked up a few products um, and I'm gonna go ahead give you my review my thoughts and let my elite beauties know whether or not it is you know good or not or worthy for you to to worth it for you to spend you know your your hard-earned coins to purchase any of the products so in this review I'm gonna go over a few things I'm gonna go over where you can purchase the item the packaging the price of the item um, the product performance and I'm gonna demo the item just to let you know how they perform and you can see how they look you know on my skin so first things first I'm gonna go over packaging so the packaging came in the if I can find it came in the standard USPS bubble wrap envelope um, and in that envelope oh here it is so it came in the standard USPS bubble wrap envelope here just like that and in the envelope the were the eyeshadows so I picked up three eyeshadows from this company the first one I picked up was the island gal palette all right and each palette comes in its own little bubble wrap sleeve and you know a sleeve that looks exactly like the front of the palette so this is what this palette looks like and let me mention that each of the palettes came with a what's called a translation sheet which I like very much because you know this is um, giving anyone that's not Jamaican an idea as to or dialect and you know they go ahead and um, they can understand a little bit more about our dialect so for example this sheet this sheet gives the meaning fluffy diva thick full-bodied or plus size woman plus size woman who has a diva personality um, goody a nice girl or someone who is your good friend Bunununus, a sweetheart used to describe someone special or someone dear to you good as an attractive and industrious female who doesn't sleep around so you know that's just some of our or language or Jamaican language here and the meanings to it so anyone as i mentioned who is not of a jamaican descent and understands our dialect will definitely be able to understand with this translation sheet so as i mentioned every single one of these sheets have uh every single one of the palettes sorry has one of these translation sheets now the translations are not all the same for each and every one of the palettes each palette has its own translation sheet all right so this one is the one for Alan gal all right and as I mentioned this is how the Alan gal palette looks purple so this is a beautiful palette with the some silhouette of ladies on it and this is what the inside of the palette looks so this palette comes with a mirror which is pretty nice um, 
it's a pretty nice mirror so you can look into it and do your your eyeshadow and these are the colors here right so on the translation sheet as I said so the same the same Jamaican words that are on the translation sheet like fluffy diva dancehall queen browning catty goody all those are the meanings of those are on the translation sheet so everyone who picks up one of the palette will know what those words mean all right so this is this palette here so I won't swatch every single one of the colors but I'll go ahead and swatch a few so I'll swatch fluffy diva now these palettes aren't necessarily creamy they're a little bit more on the drier side so when you do put your your brush or your palette into it it does have a bit of kick up I'm not sure if you can see that but yeah so this is what fluffy diva looks like which is like a nice kind of orangey red color all right then you have I'm gonna swatch goody which is now the color the light is washing out the color this is like a bright neon orange so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that I'm gonna put it right here not sure if you can see that I'm also gonna go ahead and swatch slimmers which is this purple so right off the bat they do seem pretty pigmented that's the purple there and I'm gonna swatch this last color here which is a neon Miss Jamaica which is a neon color yellow so sorry that the light is washing it out but it is pretty pretty neon that's the that seems to looks like the true color of it here And that's what that looks like. Yeah. So that is the Island Gal palette. All right, the next palette that I got was the was the Iris palette. Again, this one has a comes in a bubble sleeve and a translation sheet so this is a translation sheet for the iris palette so you'll see words like bonfire um babylon liberty ayman aya you know stuff like that and the meanings for those all right so this is the iris palette it's in my favorite color red and this is beautiful packaging at least i can say yardy cosmetics has some very nice packaging so this is the palette here and just like the island gal palette it comes in a sleeve so let me just mention that all these palettes are made in PRC China and they're all cruelty free all right and the Iris palette is dedicated to my beautiful Rastafarian sisters who appreciate self-expression through artistry. This palette highlights some of the most popular words and phrases used by the Rastafarian people of Jamaica. Rastafarian culture has greatly impacted the Caribbean language and lifestyle and has influenced many around the world, which is so true. We can look at people like Bob Marley who has greatly influenced um, music and culture for Jamaica. So this is what the palette looks like so again it comes with a mirror all right and this palette is mainly what I call the Rasta colors just in different um, for lack of a better word depth so you see it starts off with a dark red then a little bit lighter then lighter lighter and then it goes into the glitter same for the greens golds and black all right and then it has iris yardy 
I will buy Yardy Cosmetics there. All right, so this is all. This is what that looks like. And I'm gonna swatch a few of these colors for you. So I'll swatch the the red here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the green. That wasn't a very good swatch. Let me do that again. Um, let's do the yellow. And I want to do one of the glitters. I'll do the, let's do the red glitter. All right, so that's what that looks like. Those are the colors. So again, these are just different depth and different tones of each color. All right, that's the Irie palette. And the last palette I picked up, and these are for the ladies who are not maybe not into so much color. Um, and wanted something a little bit more neutral, I picked up the Pickney Days palette. So again, the Pickney Days palette comes with a translation sheet, and it also comes with the sleeve that looks just like the palette. So the Pickney Days palette represents some of our favorite Jamaican childhood games, these are traditional games that brings Jamaican people together in fun and laughter. These, among other outdoor games, enabled our social dexterity and contributed to our love for recreational activities and sports. While the names of these games may be different, they are very similar to the games that are played around the world. We hope that you enjoyed playing these games growing up as much as we did. Yardy Cosmetics wants to en encourage our fellow Yardies to keep these games alive so that our future Yardy generation will also enjoy these fun games. So that's the Pitney Days palette and this is a little bit more of a neutrals palette. Again it comes with a mirror. Alright so I like the fact that all these um, palettes come with a mirror and these are the colors here. So some of these games um, reminiscent to me as a child, so like this color here, Chinese Skip. I used to play that a lot with my cousins growing up. Also this one called Stucky, or Stuck and Pull as I used to call it. Simon Says, I'm sure everybody is familiar, not only Jamaicans, but you know, other, other cultures are familiar with Simon Says. One, two, three, red light, that was another popular one growing up. So. These are just some of the names in the Pitney Days palette. So again, I'll go ahead and swatch some of these colors for you. So I'll go ahead and start off with Chinese Skip. And that's what that looks like. All right, I'll put that here. A nice golden brown, um, bronze color. I want to do ring games. This color here. I'm gonna put that right here. That's like a nice rose goldy type color. Let's try Ludi, which is a popular board game in Jamaica. It's a little bit more on the silver silver side. Put that here. Okay, very nice. And I want to swatch one of the matte colors. So for I'll do B word, which is this one here. Uh, 
all right so that's the Pitney Days palette so this palette this is a one two three four this is a 16 pan palette and um, 12 of the colors are shimmers and the and these four here are matte colors so all these colors here are shimmers and these are matte so if if you're not too much into shimmers and you wanted more mattes then maybe this isn't the palette for you but it does have your traditional transition colors here so the dark brown and medium brown you know an in-between brown and a light color for the brow bone and you have a different array of shimmer colors that you can use for your daytime looks all right um so let me just mention that the Pickney Days palette, and I'm going to just quickly jump on the website here. The Pickney, the Pickney Days, Days palette retails for 25 US dollars. The Iri palette, 25 US dollars. And the Island Gal palette also retails for $25. The Yardi Cosmetics also has two more palettes, one called the Chat Patwa palette which also retails for $25. I didn't get that. Uh, I think it was, that palette was pretty similar to the Island Gal palette that had, you know, some neon colors as well. And the Bright and Faced palette, which retails for $30. That one I didn't get either. All right. Um, I also picked up a brow pencil from the Yardi Cosmetics palette. That's it here. And this is in the color dark brown. There we go. That's in the color dark brown. And this is what this pencil looks like. So it has the pencil on one end and the spoolie on the other. All right, so this is what that looks like. All right. And this is the color of, of that pencil. Right here. All right, I also decided to pick up just, you know, because I thought it was fun, some flat back pearls from Yardi Cosmetics. So this is what those looks like. So you get eight different pearls in this pill box, um, eight different colors. So you have the red, the ombre purple, the traditional white pearl, the black green, um, another ombre purple into black, um, another ombre like a light blue into a light pink and a gold so I got these and as you can see I use some of them on this look today all right I use some of them in this look today um, you know I thought it was just a a little bit of a fun thing to do with the makeup look and I decided to try it out all right the last thing that I got if I can find it here in all of my mess are a few of the oops that was a brow pencil that fell a few of their liquid lip gloss lipstick so this is the troops collection by Yardi Cosmetics and this is in the color ginger or ginger as we say in Jamaica this is another one this is in the color tamarind well for me growing up tamarind wasn't this red sorry that's not focusing there we go All right and I also did get a few other colors just trying to get those out for you all 
all right so i got this one this is the color this is the color purple yam all right then i got this one this is so us up and lastly this beautiful blue color here which i'll do a look with in the color blue draws all right so that is it for the items that i purchased um from yardy cosmetics um so let me tell you where again where we can go ahead and purchase these these palettes so these palettes can be purchased on yardy cosmetics website at yardycosmetics.com um, they are, you know, are pretty well laid out, pretty well laid out, um, and definitely the, when you visit that website, it depicts the flair and the flavor of Jamaica. All right. The thing I like about Yardi Cosmetics as a brand is that they are definitely getting and pushing the Jamaican culture out there for those non-Caribbean or specifically non-Jamaican. Um, you know persons that are interested in getting a little bit of our culture all right um, the brow pencil let me say retails for for seven dollars and fifty cents and the and the liquid lipsticks represent for go for I'll tell you in just a second goes for $9.99 all right so the prices are not too bad pretty affordable pricing um, and I think you know you can get some so people you can there's something on there for every type of girl every type of woman if you're not too much into colors like I am you can get um, something neutral to work with all right, so if you're interested in this look, I did the demo for this look, so just go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying this look and if you like what you see. And let me and let me know down below what other looks you'd like to see. I'm also going to be doing a separate video using the Pitney Days palette as well as the iri palette all right so i'll have videos coming up with me demoing this palette as well as this palette all right so stay tuned for the demo and at the end i'll let you know definitely what i think about the products and the palettes so hey guys so i just want to jump in real quick i forgot to mention that uh when you order from yardy cosmetics uh, there's a section on the website that asks you for your favorite color um, and the reason they're asking for that color is for them to send you a free gift so I did get a free gift um, in my purchase I got some earrings um, and I thought that was a very nice gesture so thank you so much Yardi Cosmetics um, I just wanted to jump on here and uh, mention that to you stay tuned
all right guys so I just want to go ahead and give you my thoughts on the palette so before I jump into that I just want to let you know that um, the Yardi cosmetic website offers different bundles so you can get um, you can get to try each of the products that they offer in different bundles so for example you can try their try out their um, they have actually 11, bund 11 bundles to choose from. So you have the $50 bundle where you get to try out three of their eyeshadows for $50. You have um, bundle one, which is $55, where you get to try out three palettes plus a free gift. Um, you also have the bundle number two palette which is for $92 and in that bundle you get all five palettes plus a free gift all right um, you have the bundle number four for example which is $65 and that bundle you get one palette one glitter one box of pearls and diamonds uh, plus one lippy and an eyebrow pencil plus a free gift so um, when you check out their website you will just you can just select the bundle that is right for you I went ahead and I selected the $55 bundle which is the which is the three palettes plus free shipping all right um, so what I want to say about I want to start off with the likes regarding these palette and this brand so first of all I like the overall thought of the palette so bringing the Jamaican culture to the rest of the world um, you know letting the rest of the world understand the meaning of the words that we speak um, it's a beautiful concept and I definitely like love anything that puts my country and my culture out there all right that's um the colors are very pigmented as you can see on the swatches here they pick up really nicely and the palettes are are affordable um they were well packaged um they when they came i didn't have anything that was damaged nothing was broken um it blends well sort of and it was i wouldn't say it wasn't patchy but some of the colors like the green the lime green color and the yellow color you had to build up somewhat um those are matte colors and they were i guess maybe it was the base that i used it just wasn't picking up too well for me and it was relatively quick shipping um after i got the notification that it was shipped it it, it got to me within about mm, about three days and it took about another maybe three days two to three days for processing so i mean that wasn't bad so hair is what i didn't like or i didn't appreciate in regards to the brand yardy cosmetics so the first thing i had a problem with was the discrepancies on the website regarding free shipping so when i went on to purchase my items i i selected the 55 dollar bundle which should have come with free shipping that was the only thing i was going to get the three palettes plus the free ship you know the three palettes to try out that's really what i was interested in when i went to check out there was no free shipping it, it showed up that i had to pay 8.99 for shipping so i was like okay you know let me try again let me try the um the seven over 75 dollars and get the free shipping because they do have something that says if you spend 75 dollars or more then you can get free shipping so i went i met the criteria for the um $75 that's the reason why I picked up the beads along with the brow pencil to make up to make it up to the $75 and my total actually came up to $78.50 so I definitely met the criteria for free shipping over $75 when I went to checkout I still didn't get the free shipping so that was something I didn't like because on your website you're stating that hey if you purchase this amount or over this amount you'll get free shipping but I never got that free shipping I still had to pay $8.99 for shipping all right um, I the, the good thing was that I reached out to the company on Instagram 
um, I didn't quite necessarily like her response um, it just didn't sit well with me but you know I just decided to brush it off and you know move on because I definitely wanted the palettes to review but I didn't like the fact that I met both criteria for free shipping and I did not receive free shipping didn't like that I mean don't get me wrong I don't mind paying you know shipping but if your website states spend a certain amount and get free shipping I'm expecting free shipping so I, I really didn't like that at all um, also the other discrepancy on their website is when you purchase the jar of studs not the jar I'm sorry when you purchase the pearls you are supposed to get a free jar of uh, diamonds or rhinestones I did not receive that um, that was missing from my order so again the website says one thing and I didn't get what the website states so again I reached out to the company on Instagram and she said that she would send the the the, the free item off um, I haven't yet this was about a couple of days ago I haven't yet gotten any email confirmation to state that it was shipped off I don't know if I will get it or if she'll just put it in the mail to my address and send it off but I didn't like the fact that you know your website says oh you'll get this free item but it was missing from my order so I just wanted to jump in real quick to give you an update on the missing item the company actually had sent that out to me so I did in fact receive that and they also sent me a free item for the inconvenience so you know that's good they kept their word and I definitely appreciated that from the company be wary of that if you're going to purchase anything from Yardi Cosmetics. Just go ahead and, um, you know, take a good look at the website and um, hopefully you'll get, you'll get free shipping when you, you know, when you purchase the items. The other discrepancy that I saw on the website is that for the brow pencils, the description on the website states that there were four shades available. When I looked, there were only three shades available or three shades pictured on the website. Again, why are you why is your why is your website saying one thing and not delivering what it says? Your website says four colors, four brow pencils. It only it only shows three. What's going on here? So if Yardi Cosmetics is watching this, please, you know, go ahead and take a look at your website. Make sure that, you know, what you're saying on your website is actually true, you know, because these are things that, you know, can, can cause people not to go back because your website is saying one thing and you're not getting what the website is saying. You get what I'm saying? So just be very mindful of that. Um, but yeah outside of those three issues that i had with with um you know your the brand um overall i'd say it's a pretty good brand you can the you can definitely make the decision to go ahead and try out the palettes um they're not that expensive they're pretty inexpensive so you can go ahead and give them a try um if you're willing to pay for shipping go ahead I'll, I'll recommend it but um yeah go ahead and support a jamaican owned black owned brand and i don't think you'll be disappointed the colors are nice um the pigmentation is good yeah and you get you 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 get a a, a ton a ton of eyeshadows to create any look that you want all right so Stick around for our next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to be notified the next time I upload. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.